Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out a new network attached storage device from Synology today. This one's called the Beyond Cloud Mirror, and it is a two drive uh, NAS. It's got two three terabyte uh, hard drives installed from Seagate. There's also a version available that uh, is in a single drive configuration as well in two different storage configurations. And what separates this one from some of the others that look like it uh, is that it is very simple to buy and to set up because the other devices you have to buy the device and then buy the hard drives and kind of pair everything up uh, take it apart when you first get it, put the drives in, get it up on the internet. A lot of steps involved with getting it going. Uh, this one's a lot simpler in that all you got to do is just plug it in, uh, go to a website, which I'll show you in a minute, and then you are off and running. But first, let's take a look at the hardware. Uh, this is configured pretty much the same as the 214 SE we looked at a while ago. So you've got a gigabit Ethernet back there where that purple cable is installed, and then two USB ports. You could install Wi-Fi with one of those USB ports, but I would not recommend it. Uh, but you can plug in uh, you know, external hardware drives to back up things. You can also plug in printers and have it work as a print server and pretty much a, a lot of flexibility that you have uh, with those particular uh, USB ports on there. You also on the front here just have the power button and some indicator lights. Um, but again, what's nice about this is that when you get it, uh, all you got to do is just go to this website here, synology.com slash beyond cloud. And then you can kind of step through a very simplified process for uh, getting your device up and running. They even uh, take you through the unboxing of it. So you can really get a real step-by-step -step guide uh, for setting everything up. So as you can see here, they've got uh, some really uh, plain, uh, very plain instructions here uh, that take you through every step, including the moment you plug it in to the moment that you get it uh, up and running. So in order to configure it, all you got to do is go to find.synology.com. And what it's going to do when you do that uh, is find the drive. I don't know how it does it. It must be pinging out to uh, the Synology server somewhere. And uh, you are connected to it and you are ready to go. So again, we plugged it in, we attached our network to it. I didn't really need to know uh, what the IP address of the device is and we're gonna let it uh, do its search here and it found it and I can just click uh, connect here. You can see it's telling me what IP address it's at. So I didn't even know, need to know that at all. I did it all through Synology's uh, servers there and we connect to it. They uh, gave us some instructions just to type in admin with no password to get started and then uh, it'll take you through the setup process. So let's uh, go through that now and see what happens. So here we go, it says welcome. And then we can uh, give it a name here. So we'll call this uh, Beyond Cloud and username, we'll just stick with admin and I'll give it uh, a little password here so we can get in uh, fairly easily. It also gives you a ranking based on what your password strength is as well, which is nice to see. And what I like about it too is that it's making you put a password in. A lot of products uh, aren't doing that these days and they should be, so it's nice that they're enforcing that. So uh, we'll click next here. I probably could have used a better password, but uh, we'll be resetting this thing after the video is over with. It's going to create our first user account. And if you have ever configured one of these before while we're waiting for this to uh, do its thing here, uh, this is a lot easier and a lot simpler. You don't really have to dig through menus and kind of know your way around. It's going to take you in a kind of a wizard-like uh, step-by-step uh, -step process here. Uh, it also has um, some options here for updating the device. I would recommend the first option, which is to have it update automatically. Uh, they do updates quite frequently on these, and they're very important updates. This is running a lot of open source software, so whenever they find you know, a loophole or something that uh, might be a vulnerability, they patch it very quickly. In fact, I've seen uh, some months where I get like, you know, almost a dozen uh, different updates, maybe not that many, but five or six a month sometimes. Uh, so it's good to kind of keep up with it. And if you can have it uh, automatically do that for you, I would definitely recommend doing that. Now, the other thing that it does here that the other ones don't do is that it installs uh, kind of the basic consumer friendly uh, little apps that you may want to get started with right away here. So the audio station, the download station, all of the fun stuff that turns it into its own little cloud device uh, will get installed with one click, which is really nice because on the other one, you had to go through uh, step by step and kind of install each package separately. So that was a nice little uh, additional bonus there as well. So what it's doing now is uh, going out to Synology server and downloading all of the latest versions of uh, those applications. And once that's done, we will uh, do a little jump cut and keep going. All right, it took about two minutes or so and it is done and ready to go. So we'll hit OK and now we are ready to log into the device. Now I covered a lot of the features of the Synology network attached storage devices and some of my other reviews of other Synology products and uh, most of their stuff works across their entire product line so you can get a good feel uh, for all the things that their operating system can do. My favorite feature though, which I covered in my review of the 214 SE, so definitely check out that review, uh, is this feature called Cloud Station. And if you're looking for a way to replicate Dropbox this is it. This is probably the best one I have seen out there from any NAS manufacturer. It works exactly like Dropbox and it gives you a lot of flexibility 
as to how you want to configure it. So in other words, you can uh, have files sync up to your computer. Even if your computer is offline, you can work on those files because it you know, basically syncs them to the local hard drive. Uh, when it gets reconnected again, uh, it'll sync up all those files. It'll push it out to everyone else that's also connected to uh, the NAS here. And uh, everybody is on the same page, which is really cool. They also have this quick connect uh, feature so you can set it up without having to poke holes in your router and do all that other kind of stuff. Uh, if you want more security, you can run a VPN server on here and do that. Uh, so again, it, it's, a, it's a computer, it's a server that uh, you can sit on your network. It does perform pretty well. We're getting about 65 megabytes or so in the write speed and about 80 megabytes or so on the read side. And uh, we're seeing a little bit better performance on the reads because of how this is configured. So when you get this, it's configured in RAID 1, which means that uh, the drives are mirrored to each other. So remember, there's two drives in here. Uh, basically, one is uh, being kept up to date with the other so that if you lose a drive, you can take out the bad drive, put in a new good drive, and it'll, it'll fix itself and put itself back up uh, to normal without any interruption in your uh, data flow. So you don't have to restore anything. You just take the bad drive out, put a new good one in, and you are back up and running. So a nice little uh, redundancy there with the two drive unit. So if you're looking for something really easy to set up and you like what Synology has to offer, this is a good choice. This is a great entry level NAS device that performs quite well, uh, does most of what uh, all the other NAS devices from Synology do. Uh, it performs pretty adequately for most consumer based tasks. In fact, I use the 214SE, which is very similar to this device uh, as my primary NAS in the house here. It's been running for about a year and it's been working great. Uh, the speed is adequate for everything that I do. I can watch movies off of it. I can uh, you know, store a lot of data on there. Everything just seems to work really well. I've been really happy with it. Uh, the advantage with the Beyond Cloud, of course, is that it's a lot easier to get started. You just buy it, plug it in, uh, turn it on and configure it like we did here, and you'll be off and running. So definitely check out my other Synology videos if you want to see more about what you can do with them. And this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.